Hi, um, this is Akai <clears throat> A and D. <clears throat> Actually, this one is uh, an Akai cassette deck, but it's a Japanese consumer. So in Japan, now they call it A and D. I don't know why they changed the name of it, but they did change the name of it. So what's the special about this cassette deck? First of all, this one is second uh, iron flagship of the newest uh, Akai. And this uh, particular case built on the 90s. And on the 90s, there was there was this major uh, uh, companies like JVC, Sony, and uh, uh, Akai, and some other ones like Iowa. They decided to put some really high-end cassette decks uh, to mimic CDs, basically, that to reproduce, to record, and sound as good as CD. So the JVC, they started uh, with that particular cassette decks, they called the Super Digifine series. They were unbelievable. And uh, of course, Akai, they started it, and Sony, and Iowa, and a few others uh, to make this uh, super iron uh, cassette decks. Uh, what was in common between these cassette decks, they mostly use it incredible belt uh, noise isolation, like uh, used a lot of pure copper isolation inside of the boards and uh, they used oxygen free copper wires on the head and wiring and on the board also. And uh, all of them at direct CD input to bypass all gimmicks and go directly for the purest recording you could make from the CDs. So oh, it's another thing, the frequency response, it went down to 15 to 22, some of them to 24. It was incredible f f frequency response, this cassette decks. But why still uh, people like more, uh, you know, the 70s uh, or 80s Nakamichi or Revox? Uh, for a simple reason, because uh, this particular cassette decks, it sounds more like CDs than uh, regular analog tech depths um, and that's why the people prefer those warmer sound and the uh, white sound stage of Nakamichi or Revox or Tamburg or some pioneers oh it's another company pioneer also they in the 90s they made this particular kind of cassette deck so this one really sounds more like uh, CDs than uh, analog tape decks but for some people doesn't make any difference actually they like it better more dynamic and uh, the highs you can hear it even more but some audiophiles they prefer warmer sound and uh, the wide, wider sound stage for me it depends sometimes i prefer that nakamichi and other sound and sometimes uh, i like this ones you know it depends but nevertheless they are incredible cassette decks when I bought this one, the problem, you know, one of the, the tape guide, the plastic tape guide was broken. And, uh, you know, the tape would slip on the pinch roller and that would, was going to eat your tape. So I fixed that one. And um, since then, it works perfectly. Besides, can replace the belts and, you know, the idle tires, stuff like that. Now, let's see. This has an uh, electronic tape eject system and this one also has um, AB repeat uh, and has uh, uh, you know the search system for the next song you know automatic search system so that's very useful and also as uh, the Dolby HX Pro and as a bias calibration for rec level and bias level that's very 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 useful and it's very simple to adjust takes a second to adjust <laughs>
and it's very silent mechanism, very smooth. I think I found it. Uh -huh. Sounds really, really incredibly nice. Like I said, it sounds more like a CD or DT players. And all those uh, 90s cassette decks, like this one, they I got all this in common. All, all of them sound like kind of like a CD. So because of that reason, some audio files they prefer warmer sound. So it's a wider sound stage of uh, cassette deck of 80s, or seven, late 70s and 80s. And uh, thank you for watching.